guys. I'm engaged. I'm engaged. Fenton. Fenton. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the bouquet is huge. Look at that. <gasps> wow. I never had such a big bouquet. I made one dance with the guy that told me that I have cellulite. So far, really nice people, really nice clients, really can't complain. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So for this week's video, I have decided to vlog my entire week. I thought it could be interesting. I've got quite a few things planned and obviously I have work in the middle. So you can see all the different things that I'm doing apart from like working, which is cool. So right now we are Monday. It is really sunny in London. I was meant to create content today, but I thought, do you know what? I need to go outside a bit more and I do enjoy the outdoors, you know, like going to the park and that. And I haven't done it in a long time because I'm really focused on like the content creating. I have, you know, cut my hours of work like in half. I work daytime, so I'm earning like way less, but it's all worth it because I really enjoy doing content for you guys. But so yeah, today I'm gonna take a day off because even yesterday was Sunday, I was not physically working. I was still working, editing the video that I posted with Katrina, you know, the interview that I did with her, which was so funny. So today I was like, you know what, let me just grab a coffee with a friend, go in the park. I'm going to Battersea Park with a friend. So hopefully that's gonna be nice, just enjoying a little walk. And then, yeah, just follow me for the rest of my week and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't and please give me a thumb up. It really helps the algorithm. Thank you so much. I am at Battersea Park waiting for my friend and funny enough this friend is a guy that I met um, at the club a while ago and we just realized we live like near each other so we just started to hang out and then since then he has been telling me a story about like the girls he went out with and the same with me and to be fair he has helped me a lot I was really depressed last year and we've been talking loads so it's always really nice to see him Guys, we are in my bathroom. The lighting is disgusting. Let me try to find. I don't know if that's better. When I'm in my bathroom, I had a lovely day. I just walked the whole day through Battersea Park, all the way to Sloane Square, and then I ran some errands. And now we are watching you with my best friend. I have an important appointment tomorrow. I'm not gonna say what it is yet, but I've got an appointment tomorrow for something that I've been trying to manifest for the longest time. So let's see. So early night tonight, I'm just gonna remove my makeup now, carry on watching you with my best friend, and then, yeah, go to bed. So I have my entire beauty routine available. I put the little thing here so you can have a look. So you have my morning routine, my makeup routine, and my nighttime routine, but I never really showed my nighttime routine, so I'm gonna show you now. So I always remove my makeup, this like a, a cleanser, it removes the makeup and clean the skin with the pH formula, um, X4 cleanser, and it's the best, you remove your eye makeup and everything, there's no perfume, no like harsh chemical, no mineral oil, essential oil, and all that crap, really, really good, if you, like me, have um, acne prone skin, that is very sensitive, really, really good. So what I do, I just take a bit, watch the makeup come off. Whoa, ugly. And now I'm gonna remove it with a cloth. I always double cleanse. So to finish, I just use, this is like a goat milk um, soap. You can get it anywhere to be honest, but always make sure there is one without any perfume or any like weird mineral oils or whatever. And then I finish, I, I remove the excess 
of the other product with them. And here we go, everything is off, not too much redness. It's so good. And after that, I'm gonna use Paula's Choice BHA Exfoliator, which is like a little quid. I'm just gonna apply like on a little spot here. And then I'm gonna use the pH formula night cream, which is amazing. Again, no weird chemical or whatever. But now I'm gonna shower, so I'll see you tomorrow. When I One little thing that I did before going to bed. So tomorrow is Valentine, and duh, I don't have a male Valentine, but I'm celebrating Valentine with my best friend, which to be honest, I'd rather because I know we're gonna have so much fun and we just adore each other. So now she's in bed, she's asleep. So I have done this. I have organized flowers, a little cards, and chocolates. So when she wakes up, because she wakes up before me, she's gonna walk in the living room and sit. So I'm happy, I think she's gonna be happy. Good morning, we are Tuesday. I have just woke up as you can see. Obviously I wake up with that face. <laughs> Joking. I look so shit this morning. I was like, I cannot do a video without makeup. So now I've done my makeup, I'm ready. I mean, I just need to get dressed. I'm still in my PJ, um, tidy up the house, you know, the, the usual. And yeah, I'm gonna go to my uh, interview appointment, whatever you call it, casting. I'm not sure how I can call that. Hopefully the outcome would be good. Fingers crossed, pray for me. I didn't sleep last night because when I have to wake up in the morning for an appointment, I can never sleep. So I slept obviously, but not really good. But anyway, after that, I am going to Richmond with my best friend. We're gonna celebrate Valentine together. Cute little Richmond walk. And she saw the flowers this morning and she was so, so happy. She was like, you're just so cute. <laughs> it makes me happy to make her happy. So yeah, fingers crossed, pray for me. Today is going to be an amazing day. And by the time I post this video, Valentine will be gone. But I hope everyone had a lovely Valentine, single or not, you know. So yeah. All right, guys, I am ready, ready this time. Dressed, little blazer, little pants. I've got trainers on now, but I've got my boots in my bag because no way I am taking the trip with like high heels and walk and uh, I need to be comfortable. I need to, yeah, get to the place quick, quick and easy. So, mm. and I've got my suitcase ready here and my bag with my shoes. All right, guys, I am there. I have changed, hold on, I'm in the middle of the street. I have changed, I've got my heels on and I'm ready to go, let's go. All right guys, I am done. Sorry if you hear my suitcase. I am not sure what to think of it. It was really quick. Let's see, I've got the answer in one or two weeks, so fingers crossed. Um, I'm in Angel actually and it's so weird because I used to live there with my ex-boyfriend. So a bit weird to be there. I think I'm gonna treat myself to like a coffee and a pastry because I think my day in Richmond is gonna be cancelled because my friend doesn't feel good. So yeah. Okay, so I am home and yeah, I'm a bit, not depressed, but like a bit down because I was meant to have the day with my friend and now it's not happening. Um, she is sick so yeah it's never easy to be alone for Valentine you know not even receiving a text or flowers when you know you've got other people around that receive all those treatments but you know it's not because they receive flowers and that, that it means they're in a happy relationship so for whoever is alone on Valentine sorry better days are coming one day it will be your turn it will be my turn so yeah, just being real here. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't care to be alone for Valentine, but no, of course it hurts. It hurts on a special day like that to be single, but it is what it is. I'd rather, to be fair, I'd rather be single than with, being with someone that disappoints me on Valentine. But so, yeah, Tuesday I just had an appointment and that's it. I'm not feeling like doing anything, I'm not gonna pretend. I'm just gonna go to the gym and that's it. I'll see you on Wednesday. Are you happy about your plan? And your so little happy. bouquet. How did you feel this morning when you woke up? <laughs> uh, with this. <laughs> yeah. I Not with like, you. No way. <laughs> Is anyone has done anything cute like that for no, you? No, never. You're my soulmate. <laughs>
Mama, you're my guy. Wait, wait. Do you want to Elle est la vague? Attends, vas-y. Tu sais yes? Are you saying yes or no? I don't know. Uh, yes! 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 <laughs> I'm engaged, I'm engaged! <laughs> Look what she got me, how cute. It's not like we already have 1,000, okay, the light is shit. It's not like we already have 1,000 teddy bears on the bed. <laughs> now we've got Fenton. Thank you. Fenton! Fenton! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> so we have Fenton. And she got me the cutest little bouquet with like a special rose. It's a bit of a weird, crazy, wild one like me, so. <laughs> crazy but beautiful. Okay, happy Valentine's, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are Wednesday. I just woke up. I look like shit. Oh my God. Wow, the difference with makeup. I am exhausted. Not sure why, because yesterday I done fuck all. I think it was the fact that I woke up too early. Ooh. Today was the plan. I have to do a blood test today. I have paid for it because I think I've got a hormonal imbalance and I want to check it out because I get cyst acne uh, like you know really like under skin cyst and my hair for, are falling out thinning so I just want to make sure everything is okay it's been going on for a long time and I'm like but you know what if I wait for the NHS so I'm gonna do that get ready for work because uh, I work a day shift after that gym so yeah come with me oh something weird happened yesterday I have a friend, he's a scriptwriter from LA, quite a famous one. We met at a club two years ago. We had a bit of a fling, but then obviously he lives in the States, I live here, but we cool. You know, he had a girlfriend, he was calling me about it. Same when I had guys and that, we're really cool. Really cool about it. And how weird, I wanted to watch his movie on Netflix yesterday and it was not there anymore. I was like, oh, how annoying. And then he called me three hours later. I was like, what? And he sent me just a little thing of my book, book of me talking about Valentine, saying that I'm always alone for Valentine. So he sent that to me, he was like, I just wanted to wish you a happy Valentine. I was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. And he's gonna send me flowers. So yeah, I got flowers. All right, guys, I am ready. I'm in half ready, I didn't even do my mascara. Um, I am late, so I'm gonna walk really, really fast, do my blood test, and then after that, come back home, get my bag, and leave for work. So, need to hurry. See ya. All right, all done, it was quick, but my blood didn't want to come out for some reason, weird. Now I'm gonna come back home, have a piece of chocolate because I don't want to faint, so yeah. All right guys, I am at work, I am ready for a shift. It's Wednesday, so I really don't know what it's gonna be like, but let's see, but I never really stress about money in this club. Because even if I don't make money Monday, I know the next day I will. So let's see. I got myself a coffee at Fred's. And when I got a coffee, I could see this guy was like looking at me and I was like, oh no, please don't. And I left Fred and he literally like chased me. He was like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Can I take you out, please? And I was like, no at first. And then I sort of gave up. I was like, you know what? Let me give him my number because I never meet anyone. I don't really go out at the strip club. You know, it's not the place where I'm gonna meet my boyfriend. So I gave him my number and let's see. So wish me luck, hopefully I'll make money and hopefully that guy won't be a weirdo. Clearly not my type to be fair, but never know. How funny, I was talking to one of my colleagues and saying that I've got like a black ribbon on my wrist and black tourmaline to protect myself from like negative energy and all the weird energy that we've got in the club. And then Yeah, I do like salt bath once a week, sage, crystal with me, and I have like this just to protect myself. You can believe it or not, but I believe it works. But how crazy we have the same crystals. All right, quick update is really boring. <laughs> I made one dance with the guy that told me that I have cellulite. Great. Um, I'm gonna have a quick break now, have a snack, because I'm bored. So, yeah. 
All right, guys, it's now 4 p.m. and I've made a bit more than 200 pounds. I know it doesn't sound like loads, but it's daytime, there's not loads of people, so it's still good. Outfit change. I kept my stockings, doesn't go with it, but I can't be bothered to change. Um, so far, really nice people, really nice clients, really can't complain. Um, but still can't wait to be done and go to the gym and just be at home and chill. <laughs> I went to the gym and I bought some food and I'm finally seeing my bouquet from my former flame from the States. The bouquet is huge! Look at that! Oh, wow! I never had such a big bouquet. I had once a really big rose bouquet but not that big, not that pretty. They are beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so happy! <laughs> this shows that if my former flame is still sending me flowers, if I don't get along with some guys when it ended, that's me, it's their fault, <laughs> not mine. I can't get over this bouquet, it's just so pretty. Like, it's huge. It looks small because I don't have big vases, but when you let it, like, because it's very squeezed right now, but it's fucking huge. Don't think you can properly see on the camera, but it's huge. And the roses, it's lighting you better. The roses are actually beautiful. Uh, and the card was lovely. Again, no boyfriend, no crush or anything like that. It's from a former flame. Uh, but we're still in really good term. And he was like, I know you're alone on Valentine most of the time, so I'm just gonna send you flowers. I think it's so cute. Um, and he read my book again and he was like, it's just such a, it's such a good read, so well done to you. So now I'm gonna cook some food, shower and go to bed. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not sure if I split the video in two and just post it on Sunday or if I put part one today or tomorrow. I will see. You will see. Good night.